Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome me to episode 12, uh, maybe, <laughs> of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And Kirby's falling asleep. He's tired. Yeah, I'm pretty tired myself. Alright, so last time we did stuff, and I think we unlocked a new hide and seek stage. Uh, but to be honest, I haven't played this in so long that I kind of forget. So excuse me if I'm doing something stupid here, but... Oh no, it is. Okay, so let's do this. Toy tracks. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, it feels good to be playing this game again. Uh, and it's actually at this point now that I've pretty much stopped practicing this game because uh, for the past few videos I've actually like practiced like the levels before I actually went and did them. And I don't know, for some reason that just kind of got boring to me. Like it didn't make for as good commentary or as good like well technically it made for better gameplay, but in my opinion it didn't make for as good gameplay because. Sometimes the worst is better in terms of LPs, if you know what I mean. I'm not gonna kill these guys. Uh, Cause there might be some one of these hiders up there. Uh, are all of these things that are hiding, are they all named Zeke? That's crazy. By the way, I saw one there. Yeah, he's just hiding out in the open. Oh, he's hiding there. Okay, behind the water D. Whatever. Oh, there's probably one up there, isn't there? Let's go find out. Oh, I guess not. Maybe? I don't know. Jeez, oh, I feel like I've missed, like, one or two at least, but I haven't seen anywhere that they could hide. I think there's probably one behind. Yeah, here we go. Alright, hello. <laughs> I love how he just doesn't move at all when I uncover his hiding spot. He's like, maybe if I stand perfectly still, he won't see me. Dude, this is the end of love. What? I've I missed three of them? Alright, one of them's gotta be Yeah, I see one of them down there, but... Jeez, where are the other two? Holy crap, I might be screwed here. That sucks. Oh well. Jeez, I forgot how short they made this level, like, in terms of the hiding thing. Oh wait, oh, I thought that was a bee, but that's a guy's tail. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Right, what's going on here? Um, no, 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 no. Okay. Maybe there's one up here? I don't know. Uh, yep, sure enough. Alright, there's the last guy. Awesome! Oh, do you actually keep the bees that you collect in this stage? I th think you do. Oh yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, didn't really remember at first. But there you go. Oh. Yeah, so on my last Diddy Kong Racing video that I just posted yesterday, I mentioned something about um, posting two videos every day. One Kirby and one Diddy Kong. Colored blocks fabric. They look kind of pale, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, whatever. Uh, and most of you seemed in favor of me posting two videos a day. Um, I was actually planning to start that today, but things just in real life just caught... I, well, I had to catch up with things in real life. I guess that's how you would say it more appropriately. And, um... So I didn't really have much time to record today. I'm actually recording this at, like, almost 8 p.m. at night. So, that's not very good, but... Oh, yeah. So hopefully we'll start posting two videos a day tomorrow. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep to one video a day. And yeah. Alright, so this guy, I think this is the one that goes here. Yep. Alright, so now we just have to find that ice cream sundae looking thing. And then we'll be all set with this room. With apartment 202. Jeez. Why does that ring a bell in my memory? Apartment 202. Does anyone remember anything about Apartment 202 in some movie? Like, any movie. I don't know, that... It just seems like a familiar phrase. Or maybe it's just because it rolls off the tongue really well. You know, like, Apartment 202. Hmm. That's weird. Anyways. Yeah. It's been really nice today in terms of weather around here. Like, I know, like, a lot of people assume that because I'm in Canada, it's gonna be, like, cold all year round. But no, we get warm days in summer, too. Don't you worry. Like, right now, it's about, I think it's 25. No, that's not 25 Fahrenheit, that's 25 Celsius, which translates to about 75 Fahrenheit, I think. Uh, and there's a light Chinook, too, so that's pretty nice. It is very, very awesome. Oh, yeah, I forgot that those snails curved when you throw them. They're one of the things in this game that when you throw them, they actually abide by the laws of gravity. Who'd have thunk it, right? Alright. Oh, we got that B over there. You know, a bee! <laughs> I can't do that the same way that he does. 
Oh, because I don't have the same, like, throaty aspect that <laughs> Tim does, so... Whatever. Oh, there's beads here. I want those. I want those beads. And you're not going to stop me from getting them, are you? I'm going to take this guy. I don't care. I don't care that I had to go out of my way for like 10 seconds to get that. I'm going to get those beads. And you can't stop me. So ha 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 ha. Oh my god, no. No, he, but he just like took all my beads. Or launched them anyways. You stupid snail. Dude, I'm standing on his face. Alright, get, get that one at least. Dude, you missed. So I think through with that whole antics that lasted at least like a minute, I lost beads. That was just ridiculous. Alright, can I get those up there? I don't know. Oh yes I can, okay. That's how you get those up there. Yeah, it's so fun to just like pound these and go flying a million miles into the air. Boing! Then grab this, I guess. Got some uh, white and red beads here. Nice little Canadian beads. Jeez, can I talk more about Can Canada in this episode? I don't know if I can. A. <laughs> Alright. Oh, these jellyfish are kind of annoying sometimes because... Well, number one, they squirt out, like, stuff like that. Like, yeah, like this. Like, if you get hit by this, then, like, slows you down. I kind of wanted to show it there, but... Because it doesn't actually, like, do damage, I don't think. It just It's just annoying. Uh, oh, yeah, see, it, like, makes mushrooms or something appear all over your head. And then it's like, dude... What the hell? Oh yeah, but other than that, they're not too bad. I think some of them can electrocute you if you grab them at the wrong time, and that's pretty annoying. But other than that, it's fine. Nice little porthole up here, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't think I actually discovered that one until my practice- Oh, I see a treasure down there. Until my practice run recently. Can I get down there? Dude, I- I want down there. Oh, oh, I almost made it that time. I don't even know if you can do this, it just looks so ridiculous. It looks like Kirby's like pointing his toes every time I go down there. Like, tch. Well, if I get in that crack at least, dude, will you get in the crack? Oh my god. Well, whatever. I'll just take this way, I guess. It's much easier. And we get a mushroom bed. This med, this, this med, this bed is made out of springy mushrooms that make for bouncy naps. That sounds really unpleasant, actually. A bouncy nap? Who would want that? Naps are supposed to be really relaxing. If you're bouncing around during it, it's just like... You might as well just be having sex. That, then you bounce around plenty. Oh, not that I would know. Alright, dude. Freaking Waddle Doo almost hit me. Waddle Doo Doo hit. Oh, what can I talk about? Oh, yeah. I, I remember, like, saying that I wanted to tell a certain story in, like, in episode uh, 6 of Diddy Kong Racing that I posted yesterday. I wanted to tell a story, but I didn't have time or didn't just want to for whatever reason. Uh, but I might as well tell it now, so, before I forget. Uh, I've, I've been wanting to tell the story for, like, a week, but that stupid, that's, like, Mario psychopath thing had me busy all week, so I couldn't. Um, before I tell it, we'll see what this is. This is a mushroom. That looks cool. I would love. I would love to have that lamp. This novelty light looks like a big mushroom. Maybe it'll grow on its own. Probably not. But okay. Oh yeah. So the story goes like this. It's like I was out walking my dog last week, and it was a pretty nice day out there. Kind of like how it was today. And we walked by this house, and. For whatever reason, there were two toilets sitting out on the lawn of this house. There were just two random toilets. And one was like placed on one side of the lawn, and one was placed on the other side of the lawn. And I was just like, okay, that's a little bit weird, but I just presumed that the person was going to take those toilets to the dump. Which is kind of ironic, because normally you put, the, put your dump in the toilet, you don't put your toilet in the dump. But whatever. So anyways, yeah, I just kept walking past that, and then, uh, my normal dog walking route takes a U-turn, so I U-turned and went back past that house, and I looked over there again, and this time there was only one toilet there. So I'm like, holy crap, they must have just taken one, and just left the other one. And just like, or something, because that's like all that I could think of. I could only think of like two possibilities, and that's that one, their car was too small to carry both toilets to the dump at the same time. Or two, someone stole one of the toilets. Yeah, seriously. So there... It's probably not the case, but there is a slim chance that there is a toilet thief going around my neighborhood now. Which is just so ridiculously funny. 
It's just like a toilet thief. Oh my god, the toilet thief of Cochrane. That's just ridiculous sounding. Oh, that story seemed to be funnier in my head, but still, it's just like ridiculous. Like, who go. Like, I know it's probably not what happened at all, but who would ever steal a toilet? Like, seriously, how desperate do you have to be to do that? The toilet probably didn't even work because it was being hauled off to the landfill. Oh, okay, what, what did that thing do? Oh, that made beads appear here. Beads, delicious honey beads. Honeysuckle. I haven't had honeysuckle in a long time. I'm kind of craving some. Oh, yeah. Like, when I was a kid, I used to just, like, find, like, honeysuckle flowers, and I would just, like, suck on them. Yeah. Alright, I can go over here, can't I? Yep. And we got a patch. Not bad. 1812, that's how many beads I have. It's also the War of 1812. Yeah, wasn't that like one of the shortest wars in history or something? I don't know. Right, on top of the big bouncy mushrooms. You know, like the big comfy couch. Did anyone ever watch that show as a kid? I loved that show as a kid, the big comfy couch. Like now I would like go back to watch it and it's just like, oh my god, this is so stupid. But back then, I was just in love with that show. It was really, oh, I, my, I missed a patch and a treasure. That's not good. Wait, I did miss a treasure. Yeah, I missed the music disc. I'm gonna go back and look a little bit. I know this seems kind of like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Just finish the level and be on with it. Come back for the treasure later or something. Oh, it's right through there. Okay. Well, I'm glad I went back and found looked for that now. All right, now the question is, will I be able to get up there safely? Actually, you know, I want the snail. Because that'll probably be better suited for my needs. Because uh, a snail has the ability to go through all these blocks at once. Just like that. And there we go. Um, yep. Mushroom Run music. Is that what this is called? Mushroom Run? Jeez, this would probably be Mario's favorite level. Yeah, I'm not going to fret about that patch that I missed. I'm just going to go on about my day here. Uh, I'm already up to like 12 and a half minutes. Like, seriously? Dude, how long have I been- I've just been rambling. I don't know, I've, I've been in the mood to vlog lately. Yeah, both in Diddy Kong and in Kirby now, I've been vlogging my ass out. My life isn't even that interesting, so I don't know why I'm even talking about it. Alright, oh, did I get the- did I get the bonus? Did I get the bonus? Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be tight, it's gonna be tight! Oh, yes! Oh my god! I was like one pixel away from just snapping to that blank area. That would have been really sad. Not that the beads serve much of a purpose right now, since I already had gold, but they're always fun to have, you know? Always fun to see that firework show at the end. Like, watch it go BOOM! We found a cake patch. Yeah. Ooh, a new hide-and-seek stage. I think that's how we're probably going to finish off this episode. Start with a hide-and-seek stage, might as well finish with one, right? But first, let's see what this does. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh my god, that's like the biggest thing that we've ever seen happen to open a level. Just a cake just appears. <laughs> and we can go inside the cake, too. It's gonna be delicious. Can I just eat it? That would be awesome. Alright, so I guess we'll go... Oh, this is probably gonna be a bit of a long video, but I don't really care. Let's just go do the hide and Zeke stage. Oh, by the way, hey Wyatt, what's up? How's it going, man? You're awesome. <clears throat> Hopefully he's watching this video. That won't make much sense to anyone but him, but there you go. Alright, Mushroom Run, difficulty three stars. Find everyone in three minutes. Good luck! And win. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Because basically finding everyone in three minutes is winning, so you don't really have to and win anything. <laughs> but whatever, you know. Alright, so, I don't remember this one being overly difficult. Might be a little bit annoying. There's one. There's a guy right there, but I can't get him, so I'll have to go back and see if I can find something to pick up. Oh, for a minute I thought there was one in the ground there, but it was just mushrooms growing out of the ground. All right, let's get him. Sweet. Alrighty. I seem to remember one. One of them inside one of these houses, but I might be mistaken. Is there one up here? Uh, doesn't look like it. No, sorry. 
Dude, it just fell all the way to ground level. To ground zero. Whoa. That had the weirdest arc I've ever seen. It went like straight up, then curved, and went straight down. Never really see that happen every day. Dude, this video's been absolute crap for commentary. And apparently my cat agrees, because she just came up and started meowing in my face. Right, is there one- is there- tell me there's a guy in here. Dude, why is this even here if there's no one in there, dude? That's dumb. That's stupid. Alright, I've only found one out of five so far. Oh, make that two out of five, I just saw one up in the clouds over there. Yup, he's got his head in the clouds, haha. Is there one up here? Yup, there you go. Yeah, that one can be kind of tricky to find if you don't know that there's that thing up there. But if you just pound this, I think you would- yeah, you get launched up there anyways, so. As long as you're pounding every mushroom, then you should find that. Just pounding every mushroom, that sounds really kind of wrong. Right, oh, is there, one of the there is one over there. Look at that. Look at that crap. The guy's hiding over there. What's he doing over here? I already got the patch from over there, buddy. Like, seriously. Alright, there's one more find, and I have no idea where he is. So let's He's probably, like, on ground level, and I just totally missed him. Oh, let's see. See, I have a sneaking suspicion that I missed one inside one of these houses, or around one of these houses, at least. But on the same- by the same token, I probably didn't. Alright, seriously, can I- I only have, like, 30 seconds to find this guy. Dude, I'm gonna lose this. Oh my god, I don't believe that. Where is he? Where the hell is he? Oh my god, I'm scared now. No, I've already been up here. Dude! Oh, I know where he is. I know where he is, I bet. Dude, but can I get up there in time? Oh my god. Dude, okay. Come on. Go, Argon, go! Dude, what are you doing? Is he up here? Shit, he's not! Maybe he's up here. He's right there! I got him! I got him! No! Oh my god! I suck! Dude, I totally suck! <laughs> well, at least I know where they are for next time. So, I guess we're just gonna end on this very sorrowful screen. It's sorrowly beautiful. Never thought I'd be thinking of those two words in the same sentence, sorrow and beautiful, but whatever. So, I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argo Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.